His family says his name was Ilan and that he and his brother and his mother drowned trying to reach Greece by boat. CBC Stephanie Mercy has been working on this story for us tonight and joins us live in our studio. Stephanie. Well, Myung, the story that goes with those heartbreaking images is just as disturbing. The CBC spoke with a woman in Coquitlam tonight who says that that boy in those photos is her brother's son. She was too upset to speak on camera, but she told us that uh, this morning a relative called her to say that her brother Abdullah had been, uh, was attempting to take a boat with his family, his wife and his two sons. They were trying to get out. Um, later, she saw the photographs and she feared that it was her family, so she got back in contact with those family members overseas and they confirmed that the boy in that photo is in fact her nephew Ilan. They also said that his brother and his mother, so this Coquitlam woman, Tima Curdy, her sister-in-law, they also died. But they did say that her brother somehow survived. Now, we have not been able to, uh, to independently confirm that the, that the boy in the photo is Tima Kurdi's nephew, but I should say that Turkish media has been uh, publishing their names and their stories all day now. Um, the other thing that we should note is that the family here had been working to try and bring their Syrian family to Canada. And in fact, they'd been working with their MP, NDP MP Finn Donnelly, to try and get them here. We spoke with him tonight, and here's what he had to say. She had uh, looked at sponsorship, uh, so you know we were trying to work with her through that and um, and help her go through the proper channels of bringing her family over. So we we worked with her, um, explored the you know the avenues, and again uh, the best way was to write directly to the minister. I delivered the letter to the minister, and nothing. We waited and waited, and uh, you know we didn't have any action. And, and now, unfortunately, we see the news, and uh, this is just horrific uh, that she now learns uh, through uh, the media seeing a, a picture of, of her nephew um, in the news. My understanding is she looked at the, the photograph and uh, recognized that uh, that looks like her nephew, and she was just horrified. Devastating for the family. This is horrific uh, what has happened to Fatima and the Kurdis. And I know uh, in speaking to Tima tonight, she is so distraught. And I think it will represent uh, you know, what, what uh, her and her community, the Kurdish community, have been trying to say. It would, you know, we need to address the situation. We need Canada to do more. And Stephanie, incredibly heartbreaking to find news like that out through a photograph like that. So, why is the family and Finn Donnelly compelled to share their story so publicly? Well, yeah, Myung, it is obviously just devastating for them. And uh, this photo is now being shared worldwide, globally. It's, it's sparking reaction around the globe. And it's really because it's one terribly poignant image of one little boy, but he stands for so much more, for so many more people that have been displaced and killed in the Syrian crisis. All yeah. right, Stephanie Mercy, thank you very much.